Hello, in this problem we have to find the reference angle for 8 pi out of 9. The reference angle is always made with the x-axis, so let's sketch x and y axis. We have 0 radians on the positive x-axis. On the positive y-axis we have pi out of 2 radians. Then we have pi radians on the negative x-axis, 3 pi out of 2 on the negative y-axis and we are back to 2 pi on the positive x-axis. This completes one rotation of an angle. So we have a fraction of 8 pi out of 9. The denominator means into how many pieces the pi is being divided into. So let's take 1 pi on this graph and divide it into 9 equal pieces. Now that we have 1 pi divided into 9 pieces, the numerator tells us how many of those pieces we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is our angle of 8 pi out of 9 and terminal side will be here. The reference angle is always made with the x-axis, so our theta is here. You should be able to tell from the picture that it's just one part out of 9 of pi. However, you can always do this algebraically. If this whole piece is 1 pi and we minus from it 8 pi out of 9, which is our angle, this will calculate the reference angle. So pi is out of 1. We need a common denominator and the least common denominator of 1 and 9 is 9. So if you multiply 1 by 9, we get a 9. Whatever we do to denominator, we need to do the same thing into numerator. Now you get 9 times pi is 9 pi out of 9 minus 8 pi out of 9. We can bring this under common denominator of 9. We have 9 pi from the first fraction minus 8 pi from the second fraction and 9 minus 8 gives us 1 pi out of 9. And this is our solution. That's all.